set bread. Now, who cares about one man's opinion when you're on top of the ratings? You know, the numbers were through the roof. Yesterday, Sanity Today had more viewers than any other program in DTV's history. Really? Yeah. That's ludicrous. I can't get why so many people would be interested in me and Brad. Well, you see, <clears throat> they identify with you. <laughs> they recognize themselves in you. In many ways, there's a Brad and Janet on every street in America. Well, I hope they're having better luck than us. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, can I see Brad? I just want to see Brad. Oh. <laughs> oh, you will. Mm -hmm. And the audience will be waiting to see you. With bated breath, don't you forget? Oh, I wish I could forget. You might want to wipe that. <laughs> <laughs> You are beautiful. Oh, stop. Uh, it's true. You're more beautiful than any film star, and I should know. You know, in past seasons, they came and went in every episode. Compared to them, you are perfection. You are flawless beauty. Why, you're the most desirable creature who ever walked. Oh, I wish Brad could have found it in himself to say those things to me. Oh, he will. But he's given you both the opportunity to do that live on air. Live on air? Mm-hmm. What'll I do? What'll I say? What'll I wear? <laughs> Ever since I was a little boy, dressing up has always been my greatest joy. But when it's time to be discreet, there's one thing you just can't beat. And that's a stragglers, backlers, house call, little black dresses and dogs. Well, first you go in red, red, then you go skip, skip, skip. Since I was a shy young thing, no one has made my bell go ring-a-ding. <laughs> but when that big red carpet calls, I'll be boobles. <laughs> In a shy suit, face so cute, can you? I'll always say. <laughs>
not the only one. Because with Faith Factory premiering tonight, it's gonna be fancy duds till hell freezes over for Ralph Hapshire. <laughs> I can't wait! Uh, Faith Factory? Spotty's new show. Everybody's very excited. Lots of buzz! And I'm hosting. The main guy, the main event, the mater d. You know, Farley Flavor says I've got everything he's looking for. And when he looks into your eyes and says stuff like that, well, it just makes you feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good! <laughs> so, yay, congratulations, and uh, Betty's gonna be there too, right? Well, it pains me to say it, Janet, but no! <laughs> I'm flying solo! That old husband and wife act was going pretty thick. Especially for Ralph. Oh! <laughs> Barley felt that Betty's attitude needed some work. Uh, she was a very negative influence that was bringing everybody down. Mm. <laughs> it was bringing me down. Was it bringing you down? Uh, Miss. <laughs> you said uh, Farley had plans for her too. Oh, he does. They mainly involve the door. <laughs> Everybody's gonna know our name. Really? Yes, of course. When you're in Farley Flavor's good books, you get everything you ever wanted. And it doesn't have to involve research or administration. Hey. <laughs> and imagine how Brown's going to feel when he gets to look at his glamorous starlet of a better half. That ought to brighten him up oh, considerably. Oh, I hope so. Well, it's like I always say, Janet. You gotta feel good to do good. Out of self. Come self us now. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself. The real you, the secret you. You'll like what you see. Wake up and smell the rehypnol. <laughs> if you play your hand right, your 15 minutes of fame can end up lasting the rest of your goddamn life. The real me? Yeah. Oh, then that's great. Yeah. Oh, everybody watching? Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> Janet, look at you. You won't have to do. A thing! You see, that's the beauty of it. Oh. Some people just have that star quality, that appeal, that... X Factor. Some people were just born to be seen. Okay. You know, I, I, uh, I've always known I was one of those people, actually. And tonight, I'll finally get the chance to prove it. There's just the two of me Alone and lies together We've got the luck so far We are my lucky star One thing there couldn't be 
you up like a Picasso. No! <laughs> what the hell is going on around here? Oh, hi, baby. Janet, what's the matter? You look great. <laughs> By contrast, Mrs. Hapshat, you look dreadful. <laughs> Been in the wars, have Yeah, I'll say. I just had to fight my way through security. They wouldn't even look at my pass. And to mace one of them and threaten to sue the other just to get in here. Oh, dearie me. I mean, nobody <laughs> told you. Told me what, you whiny fools. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Betty. Listen, things just weren't, um... Uh, working out, okay? We've, uh, we've gone in a different direction. Seriously, it's not you, it's DTV. Okay, great. <laughs> oh no, Ralph Hatchet! You've broken up with me four times in my life. You do not get to do it a fifth! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, plain's the word. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Brad, by the way, Janet? You managed to stop in and see him, or have you been too busy playing dress-ups all day? Oh, Brad will brighten up once he gets a load of me. Oh. Oh. What are you singing? This isn't the Janny I know. No, not anymore. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> what have you two weirdos done to her? Uh, we brought out her true self. Liberated her from the shackles of self-doubt. Baloney. You've brainwashed her, and I am taking her home before you two puff her head up like a watermelon. Mm, looking awfully tense there, Mrs. Hapshat. A little stressed <laughs> out. Suffering from some kind of anxiety disorder, perhaps. I'm sure we could find time for you on sanity today. I think I'll pass. Thank you. But this isn't over. Something smells fishy around here. <gasps> I'm going to find out what it is. Bye, Betty. Whatever. Hey, sis, people, we are about to go live. Mr. Hapshat, if you don't mind clearing the set, please. Break the leg, Janet. I'd be forgetting something. Your introduction. <laughs> Weighed down by the burdens of yesterday. Then why not embrace sanity today? On today's very special episode, we'll be checking in with the majors. Sounds like Brown has been laid low an awfully long time, but we hit a DTV think we have just the tonic to pack him back up again. It's an exciting new procedure we're doing shock and awe. First, we'll meet the awe. Brad's uh, stunning wife, Mrs. Janet Danger. <laughs> Something, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Now, Janet, we have a very special. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Can I get to touch it? Yeah. And a very special guest on today's program. Someone jealous. You've been dying to see him. <laughs> Your husband, Brad Majors! <laughs> Couple reunited. What a momentous moment. Brad is taken aback by his spouse's slick new style. But the treatment isn't over there. Say hello to the shock. No, no, Mr. Major. Just relax and take your medicine. And afterwards, you can have a lollipop. It's all in your best interest, Brad. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm not a locomotive to suit you myself. I've been a cynic. So look how 
<laughs> and it can have serious consequences. Well, you can depend on me, sir. So. Ah, it's not just about a jump around the board. It's about loyalty. <laughs> and I'm worried, bro. I'm worried that you might be feeling a little bit of, uh, friction. Just a little. <laughs> but, uh, DTV is my whole life, sir, so you can count on me. I'm glad to hear it, Ralph, because I might need to ask you to do me a little personal favor. Uh, personal favor, Mr. Flavors? Yeah, I need you to work those magic fingers of yours, Ralph. I'll that. <laughs> tune up my machine. <laughs> Your machine. <laughs> well, we're gonna get Brad the treatment he so badly needs, we're gonna have to get double the voltage out of that gizmo. Oh, the machine. The machine, right. Uh, uh, sir, I don't think of doubling the voltage. That is, unless you don't have the kind of loyalty I need, Ralph. No, mm -hmm. oh, sir, I would, I would do anything for quality time. <laughs> Good. Then I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Mrs. Majors is ready for her inspection. Fantastic, then everything's in place. This means syndication and adulation from the entire nation. A new horizon. A blank check. A fresh start. making demands. Well, guess where he is now? We cooked his goose. <laughs> we blowtorched his creme brulee. You lost me with the food. Rachel! Yeah! <laughs> Ralph, just stop and think. 
think for a moment here they're supposed to be our friends. Why don't you just leave us alone? Jenny, what? Just go, Betty. Ralph's right. You're just jealous. We're trying to save Brad and show the whole world the meaning of hope. Just because your marriage fell down the drain does not mean mine has to as well. Jenny! Can't you see, Betty? Janet's right. We've only ever had Brad's welfare at heart here. Why don't you tune into Faith Factory tonight and you'll see. Brad and Janet Majors will be reunited as the dream couple and serve as an example to us all in the annals of TV history. You're the only annal I can see around here. I think you could be the making of all of us. Time's tight. Time. Do it right. Janet. Until time. Janet. I know. I'm in a cold sack. And I've got to go back. So come on, feet.
Well, Mr. Flavors, I'm sure you'll agree with me. That won't be the last verse we see tonight. Oh, <laughs> you got it, Ralph. <laughs> now, Mr. Flavors, talk to me. You are this program's creator. Sure am. Executive producer. My money. Co-executive producer. More of my money. And uh, catering supervisor. Oh, I feed every part of you, Ralph. <laughs> so, Ken, you tell us just what it's all about, sir. Well, I'm glad you asked me that, Ralph. Because this show is about me. And it's about you. And it's about all of you good folk. And it's about America. Because in these times of trouble, when the line outside the welfare office is longer than a regulation task football field, and the threat of nuclear war and homeland terrorism looms over us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ain't it all too easy to just lie down and allow yourself to be licked? <laughs> well, you know what I say? Nobody's gonna lick me. And I know you good folk, you don't want to be licked by someone who's all mouth. <laughs> but you know what, America? We don't have to be, no. Because we got something here, ain't we? We got faith. Faith in ourselves, faith in each other, faith in a hot cup of coffee, faith in a cold can of beer, faith in mom's homemade apple pie, and faith in quality entertainment. Because ever since I bought my hometown TV station here in scenic Canton, USA, the only thing I've ever wanted to do is bring you, the viewer, quality television. Television that answers the big questions. Who am I? What am I doing here? Who are all these other people? <laughs> Why the hell did they all vote the way they did? <laughs> Unless you were voting recently in Ireland, in which case, way to go! <laughs> Then tucks you into bed and nap in the warm cold, cold, cold. Television that tells you where you're coming from, where you're going to. Television you want to share with every living soul you meet. Television you will never forget. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> well, America, finally, you're going to get it. So without further ado, please, give a big dent and welcome to the phenomenal Farley Flavors Faith Factory with your host, Mr. Ralph Hapshack! Well, folks, you heard it here first. Finally, we are gonna get it. And we are not the only ones because we have another first view coming up tonight. An experimental shock that's gonna knock an old friend out of his mental block and bring him back to the block. But in order to do that, we are gonna have to welcome two very special guests into the studio. So please put your hands together for the superstar hosts of DTV Sanity Today, Doctors Cosmo and Nation. McKinley, everybody! <laughs> Devotion. 
This is the key to his recovery. Brad needs a serious jolt. And that jolt has to come from someone he loves. Someone he trusts. So do it! insides. A couple of no-good Euro-trash con artists. <laughs> Cosmo and Nation Disraeli in Great Britain. Cosmo and Nation Trudeau in Canada. Cosmo and Nation De Gaulle in France. <laughs> Told you it was time for Cosmo and Nation Mandela. <laughs> well, these two are nothing but a pair of Character actors. <laughs> Janet! Janet, I am so sorry for this interruption. I have no idea what Mrs. Hampshire is talking about. There must be some kind of mistake. You. You knew about this, didn't you? You used me, and you used my brat. Oh, Janet. And if you can possibly manage it, please, would you just shut the hell up and look pretty? <laughs> That's your job, isn't it? You do yours, and I'll do mine. And this is for every woman who's ever been told that. Don't oh, speak to me oh. that way! <laughs> You're a chooser. Brad. The strength of man was committed to our care. I never signed a contract. He's not going anywhere. To redeem your scheme, you tried to abuse her. A ridiculous accusation. You forced me to refuse her. Why did you choose her? <laughs> because of you, sir. Choose this 
this charity case over the opportunity of a lifetime. This is not charity, Mr. Flavors. This is love. Ch -ch You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Janet, you can put a price on anything. And whatever it is, I can afford it. So come on. I'm going to give you one last chance. Come with me, and you can have it all. Your name in lights, your, your face on billboards, your body in lingerie. Or <laughs> you can stay with this waste of a central nervous system. <laughs> and you can enjoy a life of toil, picket fences, and senior administration. If only I knew how to write a love song. If only I knew what to say. If I could remember all the words you've been wanting, then at least you'd know I still love you in my own way. That's not enough, then I'm so sorry I met you. It was almost like wasting your time. But if only you knew how it feels when you hold me, then you'd know that I still love you. something really special, but instead you chose to be two boring, ordinary people with <laughs> jobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may not want your place in the history books, but I sure as hell do. Ralph! Good old Ralph. You still want to be a star? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. I, I, I want to be a star. <laughs> and would you still do anything for quality entertainment? <laughs> I, I would do anything for quality entertainment. Goodbye, Ralph. Come with me. We got us some annals to fill. <laughs> Thank you. 
NWA Jobs Broadcasting! <laughs>